Today let's look at Synaptic Package Manager, another package manager a uh, little bit more robust than Software Manager. You'll find it typically in under system. This is Linux Mint XFCE. You'll also find Synaptic in Fedora and other systems, Ubuntu, etc. Need your credentials. And this is an administrative tool. It loads up. Here you got uh, quite a few things going on. You got your categories, you got your software. You select something, it's going to give you some little uh, description screenshots. Sometimes work, in this case it does. Change logs. Also, yeah, filtering, search, search, search windows. Uh, you can see the properties of the actual utility that you're going to install the dependencies that it needs. So forth. And the repositories brings up the same tool, software sources, as we looked at uh, in the other tool, software manager. But in this case, when you close it, it doesn't automatically load the package information. You need to click reload if you made any changes, or if you just want to update it. If you haven't used it in a while, it's good to update it. Should take a few more seconds. One of the nice little things about this is you can use this uh, if you just want to generate a download script. Uh, say you don't, you're not connected to the internet, or if you need to add downloaded pages from that script, you can also look at a history. Uh, you can edit your packages, uh, add them to CD-ROMs, fix broken packages, and if you have something selected here, you can see how you mark it lock it uh, automatically installed and let the change log so forth uh, your preferences have lots of little settings that you can look at and set i've left mine in the defaults uh, so forth and so you got a lot of little settings you can play with uh, so let's install something now if you just leave it on all you can go alphabetical order and we can install something let's see if we can find something uh, simple to install. I think this should be okay. So we're going to install this. And in this case you can also select multiple items. Shows you what's going to be installed here. Probably should go pretty quick. Move mm -hmm. the details. And it's done. How do you remove something? Basically the same way. Remove it, mark for removal or complete removal. In this case, we'll do complete removal. And put it on. Updated that kernel lately. Here you can see I have multiple kernels still installed. I got header files for 3.5, 0.17, and 0.21. So this is how you can you can remove them quite easily. Um, 
by selecting all the ones that have a 017 here. You know, personally, I like to run with them just a little bit longer just to make sure everything is going good, and then I'll remove them. But this is how you can do it. You can install multiple options at the same time, and it makes things quite easy to remove or not remove. And there you have it. That's Synaptic. You'll find this in Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Fedora, uh, many, 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 many systems out there that uh, use Synaptic as well as the software manager nowadays. So I encourage you to use this if you're not good with the command, command line uh, or if you just want to explore uh, packages because here you're going to see everything. You could go line by line and see everything or you can break it up into the different categories and you can see them, you know, what is in each one of them for you. Okay. And move our filter and it'll actually show something. There you have it. That's synaptic.